Well, what's poppin' and welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman. And today we are doing something that has been highly requested on the channel for quite some time now. And I really am not sure why I haven't made another video dedicated to this. But today that is what we're doing and that is fly fishing for bass more specifically. And today we're going to be fishing with a frog popper. I haven't done anything like this so far with a fly rod. I've done some other poppers and some like streamers and some shad stuff. But never a frog. And the frog bite has been super 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 hot right now y'all like we've been in this pond right here a, a few times and been throwing some frogs some other top water stuff and they've been getting smoked so I see nothing but the same for this little sucker right here so it should tell a similar story but anyways let's go ahead and hit the water and see if we can't find a giant oh it just got out of here literally right to where I want to start it and there was a nice blow up right on that bank I want to see if I can't get this out there quickly and get one right off the bat Gotta get this line out there. Oh, come on, come on. I'm hoping he's still in that same spot. Oh, that's a little, you need to get a little bit farther back there. He might come out and get that though. Oh, see, see, right there. Hold on. Oh, come on, that was right where that fish was. Smoke this thing, he's still there. I cannot believe this fish won't hit it. He's blowing up there like three times. I don't know what he keeps blowing up on, but he won't touch this thing. There we go. There. Oh, dang, dang. Oh, that was perfect. Oh, come on. This is gonna get smoked. Told you, told you, told you. Oh, don't get stuck. Don't get, oh, he spit it. Ah! There's fish. There we go. Got him. Got him. All right. Safe pen. Safe pen. Safe pen. Oh, don't come up. Don't come up. Don't come up. Woo. 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 All right. I think we got a good hook set on this guy. He did not spit it on that first jump, but he's probably going to come up again. And we just got to keep him down. Stay 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 down. Man, it's such a game of finesse playing with these fly rod. <laughs> he's running. He's running. Oh, this is a good one. This one's probably a solid two and a half. Oh, ooh, this one might be three. It's, I think this might be a three pounder, guys. I think this one might be a three pounder. Oh, yes, sir. Great first fish of the day. Cannot complain about that at all. Wow. Look at that. Chomp that frog fly. Just absolutely annihilated. I actually saw that fish swim out from a tiny little shallow spot that she was tucked up in to come get this thing. And she got it good. Right now, it's stuck in there pretty dang good. Let me try to get it out there with the pliers. There we go. But voila, first fish. She is gorgeous, man. I'm, I'm saying she's probably pushing three. She's probably really close to it. I'm gonna throw her on the scale. Oh, 295. 295, super, super close to three pounds but I cannot complain about that start. Gorgeous fish, let's go ahead and get her back in and let's move on to the next. Bye baby. Off she goes. That fish I rolled up on right when I started, jump again, I had to come back. I did not move far down the bank. He just blew up right on this corner, see if we can't get him to come out and smoke this thing. I know he's in the area. There we go, <laughs> got him, got him. Yes, sir, I was literally hitting the pedal to move us to the next spot because I didn't think he was gonna come out and, and take it. But sure enough, he did. I just had to let him sit there for a minute. Came up and smoked it pretty good. Oh yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it when they jump like that. Another solid, solid fish on the frog fly. Just gonna hit the player. I think she's hooked pretty good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Not quite as big as the first one, but another solid two pounder. Come on in here, little baby. Oh, that's a chunky fish. That's a chunky one. Let's go ahead and get that out of her mouth. Came right out, a little bit easier than that last one. So I'm pretty sure this was the first fish that I kind of saw right when I pulled up to throw the fly. It kept blowing up over there next to that dock and I threw in there a few times and she wouldn't touch it. I caught that fish. I had to move that far down the bank because the first one I caught was right there and I caught this one just 
about 30 feet to my right. And so I thought I'd go back because I saw her jump again when I was uh, talking to y'all about the last fish. And what do you know, first cast over there, she smoked it. Quality, quality fish. There we go. <laughs> Fish number three. There it is. There it is. Oh, yes. Come on in here, baby. Get yourself in the boat. This one's a little bit smaller than those last two. Still a good little fish, though. All these fish are just so much fun on the fly. Oh, they just put up such a good fight. She is tugging. Come here, come here. You just got to be so careful because that fly... Line, or not the fly line, but the, the leader is so, so light. It's only a few pound test, so you just got to be extra careful so you don't snap it. Ah, and there she goes. Just a little small guy. Bye, bud. For those that are curious, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know what my setup is for today for this fly rod. I'm using a five weight, nine foot to catch these little micro tinks. Oh my gosh, look at this mini baby. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. So cute, just a little 10 ouncer. Not even, not even a 10 ouncer. This is literally maybe a five ounce fish. <laughs> look at that. That's a, that is funny. <laughs> oh goodness. But what I was saying is that I'm using a five, a five weight, nine foot rod to catch these bass on the fly. While that's probably not the ideal setup for what I really should be using, it does the trick and I caught, a, what, what in the world is going on? I'm catching micro dinks. I'm just trying to tell y'all what I'm using and these little minis won't stop leaving me alone. I mean, they definitely tend to kind of pluck these poppers sometimes, but they usually don't get it all the way in their mouths. These guys are doing a good job. Thanks, bud. Okay, let's see if I can finally spit it out now. What I've been trying to tell y'all, I'm using a, oh my, nope, nope. Can't spit it out, I can't spit it out. Another tiny dinker. What is up with these guys? I usually never hook them and that's three in a row and I, all right, all right. Eventually I'll tell y'all about my setup. <laughs> Just stay tuned, stay tuned. All right, let's see if I can uh, get it out this time. Fourth time is the jump. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Every time I try to start explaining this, I catch a freaking fish. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. This is a better one. This one isn't a full on dinker. This is a solid two pounder right here. Come on in here, buddy. Definitely not putting up as much as a fight as those first two good quality bass, but I will take it. I will definitely take this fish. Pinned him pretty good. That's a good looking bass. Definitely got some like discoloration and stuff on its fins. Looks like it's been uh, bruised and battered a little bit, but good little fish. Bye bud. All right, I swear, I'm gonna explain this to y'all eventually. I just want to kind of explain to y'all what I'm doing. So I'm using a five weight, nine foot fly rod. Please don't get, oh, oh okay, okay. Don't take it. Maybe I should just cast back in the same spot so I don't get bit this time. <laughs> all right, just don't don't get bit. That's all I have to ask. I just want to be doing something while I try to explain this. So five weight, nine foot fly rod. I don't know if I've gotten past that part yet. But basically, the importance with a fly rod is you really want to match your fly rod weight, which is basically just like the power if you're a traditional bass fisherman. So like medium, medium, heavy, heavy. It's basically the same thing as that. But with fly rod, it's called weight. And basically, you need to match the weight of the fly rod to the actual size of the fly you're throwing. And it's really, really important in fly fishing because if it's too big of a fly for the size fly rod you have, you're gonna have a very difficult time trying to cast it. It's gonna give you uh, a big pain in the butt. And if you're trying to learn, especially, it makes it very, very difficult and you're gonna just get very frustrated quickly. And ideally, I would really want like a six, seven or an eight weight for this size fly that I have. I can get away with this rod uh, just because I have some experience and I, I can make it work. But really, this is too light of a fly rod for 
most fly kind of flies. So I really, I'm looking into getting something a little bit heavier. I really want like a seven or an eight weight. That way I can kind of mess around with some saltwater stuff as well, maybe go for some reds. But that is my setup that I'm using for the day. But anyways, we're gonna find some bigger ones. Yep, yep, yep. Not monstrous, but it is a bass. I, I said bigger ones and bigger than those those tiny little oh my gosh oh my gosh all right okay calm down calm down calm down jimmy jimmy jimbo you you're okay bigger than the dinks but definitely not the size of that three pounder we're gonna find them we're gonna find them i know there's some good quality bass in here y'all saw it with that first one There we go. <laughs> there we go. Just plucked it. Just plucked it pretty good. Oh, this one's this one feels like a little bit better. I didn't think it was that bad. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. I didn't think it was. Oh, oh yeah, she's gonna dance for us. I didn't think it was that good of a fish. The way she hit it, just kind of came up and plucked it. She didn't hit it too hard, but she is dogging me. That's for sure. She does not want to come to the boat. Oh, come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. Come in here. Oh no, don't, don't, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. It's one of the better ones today. Yeah! There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Stuck this big green girl right there in the corner. Got her good. She was not going anywhere. Man, oh man, these bass are fun on the fly, let me tell you. That is another solid, solid fish right there. She's probably, She's probably pushing three, two. Ooh, maybe, I'm gonna say like mid to high twos. If she's three, I'll be surprised. But we're gonna weigh her, see what she weighs. 282. 282. Hopefully, y'all can see that. Quality fish. I think this is the second best of the day. Let's go ahead and get her back in. Bye, baby. So gentle. If y'all are enjoying this video, let me know. I really, really enjoy fly fishing and the videos that I've made fly fishing for bass have done pretty well on my channel. Y'all seem to enjoy them. If y'all wanna see me do some more of this, I know this isn't for everybody, but if there's like a good amount of my audience that really enjoys this, I'll definitely make sure to try to do a, one of these videos every now and then because I just have a blast, man. It is so much fun. And I really can't emphasize enough if you've never done this, if you've never picked up a fly rod and gone for bass, I highly recommend doing it. You're gonna have a ton of fun doing it. So let's go ahead and get back in there and find us another sloppy, sloppy green gal. If we're lucky, we might just find a Karen today. Karen, where are you? Karen looks like she's back here in this slop. If there was ever a freaking Karen in this pond, it'd be right here, right freaking here. Karen, there, oh, oh, that was just a micro. It's okay, we'll live without that one. I'm not even gonna cast back in there. That one was like six inches. There we go. <laughs> no Karen, but it's a it's a little good fish. It's a good guy. Oh, I was gonna say it's a Jimmy, but I don't I don't think it is a Jimmy. I really don't think it is. This bass out here looking like a freaking peacock. Look at that freaking scoliosis bump on his head. That is wacky looking. I'm sorry you got some kind of crazy stuff going on there, but I'm gonna let you go. Oh, you ugly little dude. <laughs> oh, these little pip squeaks, man. Oh, this is just, just a little guy. Oh, he's got okay. This one's got a little bit more pull. I've underestimated him a little bit. Come here, come here. When that fish bit, I could have swore it was another one of those tiny micro bass. My eyes were definitely deceiving me. Bye, bud. There we go. There we go. That was a stealthy little eat right there. Barely just came up and just nipped it off the surface. Like, if I wasn't looking, I would have never heard that. Just, just plucked it. Oh, she's giving me a nice little tug. Is she stuck on something? Oh, I don't know. Come on 
Oh yeah, okay, there, there she goes, there she goes. Good fish, good fish, good fish. Oh, frick. There we go. <laughs> Got him. These fish are freaking stacked today, guys. Oh, oh, that might be a better one. Oh my gosh, that was a good run. That was a good run. Oh, okay. I think I just got him hooked weird. Oh yeah, I do. I got hooked on the gut. I was about to say, I did not think that was a big fish, but she took off. How in the world did I hook this fish in the in the gut like that? This is a weird place to, or not even the gut, just like the bottom of the gill plate. That's just a weird place to, to hook them with a popper. Here we go, bud. about to get popped <laughs> no no I lost him oh he came in hot from the bank and then he just paused at it and then came out and, and smoked it there we go <laughs> got him came right out underneath that dock oh, oh okay come on come on come on come on got to he's coming right at me gotta strip fast Got to strip fast. He ain't that big deal. We're just gonna bring him right on in. We don't need to play with him too much. Bye. My GoPro was off, but I just had one destroy this thing right here where all this fry is. Really giving me a run for my money right here. I don't know how big she is, but holy smokes. Oh, this could be a big fish, guys. This could be a big fish, guys. Oh, oh yeah, no, no. Oh, that was like a solid four pounder. Dang it. And on that note, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video, but hopefully y'all enjoyed. And if you did, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe if you aren't already. And please let me know in the comment section below if you're enjoying the fly fishing content. I really enjoy doing it. So I'd love to make some more if y'all are enjoying it. But as always, bass in his passion, peace out.